Hey guys, and welcome back to my Dagenham and Redbridge career mode. First of all, I want to get a couple of things out of the way. One is, of course, Merry Christmas. It is currently Christmas Eve as I'm recording this, but it will be coming out on Christmas Day. Secondly, if you guys have been around my channel for the last few days, you've noticed I've uploaded quite a lot of videos. I think this will be the fifth one in like four days or something. That's quite bizarre for me because normally I like have one or two out a week and sometimes I have a lot of time off which I did but that was because I was busy with loads of stuff but now of course I'm back with a lot and a lot of uh, content and what I want to say is basically we've almost finished this first season and well, I, I have finished recording it. I just want to say, I want to get it out before the new year. So before 30, 31st, 31 days in... Yeah, there is. Before the 31st, I want to get this career mode, this not this career mode, this season finished with, which I will hopefully do as uh, Scumfort missed quite a few chances there. That was quite unbelievable. But yeah, I want to get this season over and done with, which is, which will definitely happen because I've got pretty much all the videos ready. I just need to commentate and there's just one more I need to edit but then I've got it ready and so this will definitely definitely finish this year and then so next year we'll be able to start season 2 of course which this is much better than what I did uh, on FIFA 13 because I ended up on FIFA 13 I ended up only doing one season and a few episodes for the second season in like the entire time of the game from like October to about June or July when my game broke so exactly that's what I'm saying this is September when I started this and of course I, I was really busy in these last three months and I've still managed to finish it before the new year so that's quite an achievement on my behalf but I will try and get two or three seasons out this year hopefully and then as I start to get a bit more free time, because I, I, I am in school, you know, I am in school, but as I start to get a bit more time, right, because I'm in year 11 at now, so I've got a lot of coursework and exams to prepare for, so I will start to get quite busy around April, May and June, so, and then after that I've got like, a lot of free time, so I'll be able to like, get loads of videos out, but then I'll be starting sixth form, hopefully and when I start sixth form I should have a bit more free time as well because I don't know we'll just see how it goes obviously hopefully I'll just start getting some more content out and that's just the way it's gonna go so I hope you guys should be excited for that because well if you stick around until about next September when I probably get my Xbox one as well and FIFA 15 of course that's when I'm probably gonna start I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get my own capture card as well hopefully hopefully because uh, currently I'm sharing my brother's one and it starts screwing up every now and again because it's the original uh, HDPVR one as we score a sweaty goal there sorry about that but yeah we're currently using the HDPVR one I'm hoping to buy the HDPVR two which means I'll be able to set up on my telly instead of having to use a shared telly which is why I don't get much videos at but that's just another excuse so I shouldn't be really be saying that but yeah we do one all with Scumfort there that's nice and good and I'm, I'm hoping to get a new mic as well because this isn't the best mic ever but it all, it all comes down to money so I'm gonna have to get saving to be honest I'm gonna have to get saving a bit of Christmas money a bit of birthday money all that good old stuff I'm gonna have to start saving it up and we'll just we'll just see where we'll see where it all takes us to be honest I'm hoping by this time next year I'll probably have a, hopefully 100 or 200 subscribers, that'd be quite nice. I'm currently on 68 as we speak, unless I've gone up on one, I'll, I'll quickly check that. Just a second, yep, 68 subscribers as we speak, so that's quite nice. Obviously, I'm not the biggest uh, YouTube channel out there, but... I do like making my content, I enjoy doing all this, and uh, yeah, it just, it really is nice. Also, coming to the channel will be uh, more Southampton, I haven't come 
I haven't gotten round to that because I've been really busy trying to finish off this career mode. Also, next year I'm bringing back some My Squads videos. I've got a few squads made. I really want to get the videos out. That'll be amazing because I really like them making them videos. You know, making new squads. I haven't really been into Ultimate Team this year until about a week ago. That's when I really started playing it. I just I don't know why. I just can't find it quite boring. But I made this really good team, which uh, probably be the first My Squads video or the second one. I'm not too sure. But I was using that and I've won. No. I've played eight games. I've won six and drawn two. It's, it's a really, really good squad and I really enjoy playing with it. So I'm just hoping that I'll be able to see yeah, my squad's videos. <laughs> I'm really getting off topic. So what was that? Southampton, my squad's videos. But of course, Dagenham Season 2 will be starting. I'm also going to start an Ultimate Team. Uh, ultimate Team series hopefully uh, called goals to gold where I start with a bronze team and of course every time I score a goal I can improve one player I will be doing it on a, on a online single matches so that'll be quite interesting <laughs> I really don't know what I'm trying to say about this but yeah so I'll start from a bronze then a rare bronze silver red silver gold rare gold uh, probably be starting doing an English team like when I was going to do last year with the Cup of Dreams, but I never got round to it. And this year just makes more sense because you got the online single matches. It'll just, it'll be a nice, interesting series, you know, a little different from career mode. And I'm starting to enjoy Ultimate Team lately, so it will work out in the, in my favour, hopefully. So that'll be quite interesting if I could get round to that, which I'm hoping to. But yeah, that's pretty much it. And oh, we pick up a hin injury here for Zavon Hines. That's not good. He's one of our top players. Who, who do we bring on? I think it's Yanazai. Yeah, we bring on Yanazai. We're 2-0 up. We're cruising in this match pretty much. But uh, yeah, so more Southampton, my squads, uh, gold, goals to gold, uh, Dagenham season two. Probably a few pack openings along the way if we can get the coins for it and maybe some FIFA points if I get around to it. But yeah, and I'm also looking into some playing some new games I'm hoping to get Battlefield 4 soon so I'll probably make some videos on that also uh, I don't know we'll just see where it takes us with this channel you know I don't I'm not specifically FIFA that is my main game <laughs> my main game but yeah that is the main game I play but I'm hoping to get some new uh, games out there you know maybe a bit more Minecraft or bring back TPM's town you know, that's a, that was a nice series. You know, we got a fair amount of views for it. Maybe I'll get my uh, friend Kieran around again. We can make some new uh, videos together like we did with the Minecraft and the Peggle. Maybe a few games with my brother, perhaps, if we get around to it. But, you know, we'll just see where it all takes us. I'm hoping to, like, do a playthrough in some game. I'm not going to say what it is, but it's a game I really enjoy. It's an arcade game on Xbox. It's uh, short, it won't take too long, and uh, yeah, it'll be quite interesting. But, good <laughs> Lewington making the save, quite a poor penalty there. But yeah, that's pretty much all I want to say is, that's what's coming in the new year. And obviously, Merry Christmas to all of you, I hope you have a good Christmas. Lots of fun, the presents you want, but really, Christmas is all about spending it with your family, which is what I'm going to do. Christmas Day is tomorrow. Today I'm hoping to go out playing football with my friends because we haven't done that lately. Well, I haven't. I haven't played football in a while because I've been so busy. I do play for a team and I haven't played for like three weeks, which isn't very good. But uh, yeah, the weather's not looking too bad outside. A bit. It was raining overnight, so the ground will be nice and soft to play on, which is nice and that's that's really good. <laughs> that's how I like playing football. But yeah. Enough of that. That is pretty much the news that will be coming next year. I'm hoping you guys are looking forward to it because I'm looking forward to it. And it should really be quite interesting. But now to get back into Dagenham. Lee gets the ball out here and hits a shot saved by Lucas. Coming back is Waddle to play it back into the box. Headed out by Creswell. As far as a go-go into Billy. Bingham to hit the shot set blocked by McLaughlin. Waddle heads it across but it's offside. Unlucky. The flag for offside. offside, well offside, look at that. <laughs> Completely 
offside, all alone out there. Bingham wins the tackle against the Fleetwood midfielder. Plays into Waddle. Waddle chipping it over for Lee. Lee's got what Bingham in support and he gets it through for Bingham to try and finesse into the top corner. Unlucky there. Just leans back on it. Puts it wide. Unlucky from Bingham. And look here, Lewington with 17 clean sheets. The league's best. Absolutely amazing. We bring on Obafemi and Dennis looking to make a change into the squad. But nothing happened in that match. And uh, it was full time at nil-nil. And good news here, Josh Scott returns from injury. You know, we've been lacking the goals recently and Josh Scott's back to hopefully score us a goal. You, see, you can see he's he's straight into the uh, first team on the subs bench. We don't want to injure him too soon because he is an important player in our chase for promotion. The captain of Gogo -Go picks up the ball, gets tackled, but he wins it back. Very nice. Coming forward. He's got support in the box in Obafemi, looking to get the cross in, but he's able to win the corner off of Reigns. Taking the corner is Medialito, looking to put a good ball into the box. Swings it in towards Femi on the head and Ilisamni. Femi Ilisamni heads it in. That was a lovely header. He lost his marker. A great delivery from Medialito. And Femi's able to lose his marker and just nod it home for us to give us a 1-0 lead. Look at this. Nice powerful header. Jumps above his man and smashes it home for the left back. Wasn't expecting him to score a goal. No one really does with the defenders, but it does happen. I'll tell you that it does happen. Rig comes through here. Scott Doe's able to make a block in front of his goalkeeper. And uh, Riggs, he stayed down. The refs had to hold up the play. And uh, Rig did get injured. So coming on is Rose in his place. But at half time, it is 1-0. The only highlight for them is that rig injury, I guess. But that's not really a highlight. No one wants their players getting injured. And I'll be checking after the match to hope that he is okay. Medialito gets the ball out wide here. Coming forward. Able to hit the shot. Saved by Clark. A very good reaction save from their keeper. A lot of power behind that. And he's able to get a strong, strong fist on it to put it out behind for a corner. You don't see many saves like that nowadays, do you? Constable picks up the ball here, tackled by Wilkinson, but they're not able to regain possession. Rose slips it through for Constable. Lewington coming out to try and save it. It hits the post, and Illestanmi is able to clear it out for a throw in before we make a couple of substitutes. Josh Scott's coming back from his injury, and uh, also George Baldock, the youngster on loan from NK Dons, is coming on. Kitson picks up the ball here, and he's able to slot it home in the 71st minute. Not what we was hoping for at all. Of course, Kitson, he did score the 90th minute winner against us daggers in real life. Hopefully he won't do it again. I hope he doesn't do it again because we do not want to be losing this many points. We really need to start picking up the form and winning some matches. Obafemi picks up the ball here, plays it into Scott, looking to get that vital 90th minute goal to get us to three points. Luke Howell picks up the ball, slips it through for Dennis to get the cross in. He's got Josh Scott in there. Josh Scott unable to head it down. George Baldock wins the header, gets in the Scott. Scott with three players around him gets a, is able to find Baldock. Baldock into Luke Howe. Luke Howe to hit the shot blocked by Reigns and out for a corner. Ever so unlucky. Over to take a corner is George Baldock looking to put a good delivery in. It is good delivery towards Scott Doe's header. Is really not the best. And that is full time whistle goes. Dagenham and Redbridge 1, Oxford United 1. And that is quite disappointing. Back at the office, you can see the league table here. We are in sixth. But really, it's anyone's game. Northampton and Scunthorpe are only three points behind us. Southend, if they start picking up some wins, they could get in behind us. We really need to find our form.